Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 20 years of Ubuntu. I think we have no reason not to celebrate. Ubuntu 24.10, codename Oracular Oreo, represents the latest evolution of the popular Linux distribution, introducing numerous exciting innovations and enhancements. This version places a strong emphasis of refining the user interface, optimizing performance and improving hardware support. At the same time, it integrates the latest technologies such as GNOME 47 Desktop and the Linux Kernel 6.11. In this detailed review, I will explore the key features and updates of Ubuntu 24.10, giving you a clear understanding of what this update has to offer. I am Michael from Fossil Linux Journal, and now let's get it started. One of the most notable changes in Ubuntu 24.10 is the introduction of GNOME 47 as the desktop environment. GNOME 47 brings numerous visual and functional improvements that further enhance the user experience. The developers have focused on optimizing the interface by redesigning several existing elements. A prominent change is the enhancement of notifications and the animation speed within the user interface. These now appear smoother and more responsive, making the interaction with the system overall more pleasant. Additionally, the appearance of applets have been revamped with clearer separations providing a cleaner and more organized look. The fourth quit function has also been modified in GNOME 47. It now features an improved dialog box rewritten in the Clutter Graphics library. This window pops up when an application becomes unresponsive, allowing users to terminate the program with ease. This feature is particularly useful for users who often work with resource-intensive applications and occasionally experience crashes. Ubuntu 24.10 is powered by the latest and greatest Linux kernel 6.11, which offers significant improvements in performance, security and of course hardware support. Among the standout features is expanded support for current NVIDIA graphic drivers and improved Wayland compatibility. The kernel 6.11 also brings optimizations for server and cloud environments, making Ubuntu an attractive option for professional users and businesses. This integration of kernel 6.11 is particularly crucial for users seeking high performance with modern hardware. The kernel not only includes enhanced drivers for current processors, but also improved power saving options and multi-threading optimizations. As a result, both desktop users and developers or administrators who rely on maximum efficiency and stability benefit. APT 3.0 is integrated into Ubuntu 24.10. For users who frequently use APT commands, this upgrade will be immediately noticeable. APT 3.0 features a significantly improved user interface. It now utilizes colors, columns and ample padding for enhanced readability. The output is now prioritized with package removals listed at the bottom to ensure that they are not overlooked. For users switching from Arch or Fedora, distributions with already efficient package managers, this enhanced APT interface will feel more intuitive, clearer and of course familiar. The Ubuntu App Center also received some smaller improvements. The featured snap selection has been moved to the top to attract more attention. The Manage section of the App Center ongoing downloads are displayed, helping users keep track of application updates. This feature complements the progress indicators for Snap App updates in the Ubuntu dock, which are also new in 24.10. Additionally, it's now possible to uninstall Snap applications direct from the Manage section, elementing the need to navigate to store listing page. Let's check this out. If we click here on the three dots, you have the option to uninstall the app. I won't do it now with Firefox. If you are viewing Snap updates in the App Center and an update for the App Center itself is available, which is also a Snap app, a banner will notify you to close the app and apply the update. Lastly, touchscreen support in the App Center has been significantly improved in Ocular Oreo. If you are using a laptop with touchscreen or an Ubuntu tablet, Browsing, searching and managing your Snap App updates with just your finger will be much easier and less frustrating. 
Ubuntu 24.10 comes with a host of updated standard applications and development tools. Modernized applications include the latest versions of apps like Firefox, LibreOffice and Thunderbird Supernova. These programs are crucial for daily Ubuntu usage and provide improved functionalities regarding web standards, document management and email communication. Thunderbird has received substantial updates featuring a completely new user interface and optimized functions that make managing multiple email accounts simpler. In the line with Canonical's effort to provide developers with powerful tools and debugging utilities directly out of the box, Ubuntu 24.10 now comes pre-installed with the sysprof utility. This applies to both standard and extended installations. It is not intended for regular desktop users. Instead, it serves developers in analyzing the performance of software and system processes. Sysprof captures and displays data on resource usage during operation, assisting in software optimizations or debugging issues. Additionally, KDump tools is now part of the standard installation. This command line tool enables the system capture kernel crash dumps, which is especially useful for diagnosing or debugging the cause of a crash by examining the kernel's state at the time of the incident. In a tribute to Ubuntu's 20th anniversary, version 24.10 includes some nostalgic elements that hark back to the very first version of Ubuntu Warty Warthog 4.10. This includes the classic startup sounds which will remind many long-term users to their beginnings with Ubuntu. Additionally, the desktop color scheme has been adjusted to feature an earthy brown tone reminiscent of the initial design concepts of Ubuntu. However, these nostalgic elements are skillfully integrated into the modern user interface, ensuring that the system does not appear outdated but rather offers an exciting blend of past and present. For many Linux users who have been with Ubuntu for a long time, this will be a charming detail that recalls the early days of Ubuntu on the desktop. While Ubuntu 24.10 continues to default to Wayland as the display server, the option to revert to the older X.org remains available. This is particularly important for users who rely on specific applications or hardware that is not yet fully compatible with Wayland. However, Wayland itself has seen significant improvements in the recent month, now offering better support for NVIDIA graphic drivers and more stable multi-monitor setups. Nonetheless, there are still some challenges associated with using Wayland, particularly when it comes to specific software like remote desktop solutions or all the graphic applications. While development on Wayland continues to advance, some users may still need to revert to Xorg occasionally, especially in professional environments where stability and compatibility are paramount. With Ubuntu 24.10, a new app debuts, the Security Center. At the current time, it has only one function. Require apps to ask for system permissions. You can turn this on or keep it turned off. It is planned to add more functionality to this app, but on the first step, it only offers this function to ask for app permissions. But stay tuned for the future to see more and more functions are added to the Security Center. Those of you who have been with Ubuntu for a while will probably have noticed that the arrangement of the colors looks different here. This is because Ubuntu has deviated from its solution and implemented GNOME standard. Therefore, the arrangement is not different than before and the orange of Ubuntu is no longer at the beginning but in the center. Ubuntu 24.10 Ocular Oreo is an outstanding release that captures both the old charm of the early days of Ubuntu and provides modern technologies and optimizations. With the integration of GNOME 47, the Linux kernel 6.11 and numerous enhancement in package management and system stability, this version demonstrates that Ubuntu is continually evolving to meet the needs of the modern IT landscape on desktop side as well as on server. In celebration of Ubuntu's 20th anniversary, Ubuntu 24.10 brings back a nostalgic element, the classic startup sound from the very first version Warty Warthog. 
this is not only a nice gesture to long-time users, but also emphasizes the rich history of this popular Linux distribution. Moreover, the color theme grows on the early versions of Ubuntu, creating a pleasing mix of modernity and tradition. Ubuntu 24.10 Ocular Oriole is a significant interim release that introduces interesting new features for both desktop users and developers. Alongside the expected improvements in stability and security, user-friendliness is also prioritized. As an interim version, Ubuntu 24.10 will receive support for only 9 months, so an upgrade to the next interim version, Ubuntu 25.04, will be necessary by July 2025 at the latest. If you prefer not to upgrade every 9 months, it is advisable to stick with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. This version provides 5 years of LTS support, meaning an upgrade to the next LTS version will not be required until at least 2026. Therefore, those who wish to always have the latest features in the Ubuntu ecosystem can look forward to Ubuntu 24.10. However, for users who prioritize maximum stability and reliability, Ubuntu 24.04 or Ubuntu 22.04, the LTS branches, are far better suited. But if you consider a switch to Ubuntu 24.10, I recommend you to stay patient and wait at least for a few weeks until the first not yet discovered bugs are solved. What do you think of Ubuntu 24.10 and its features? Feel free to share your opinions and thoughts in the comments. I'm already looking forward to reading them. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in Linux content, please consider to subscribe to the channel for free, give the video a thumbs up and activate the bell to stay updated on new content. There are two more interesting videos about Ubuntu in the end card. The first is my test of the latest Ubuntu 24.04 LTS version and the other video is my conclusion after two years of long-term testing with Ubuntu LTS, in this case Ubuntu 22.04. Have fun watching! And if you like to support Fossil Linux Journal, please consider to join the membership program here on YouTube. This supports my channel and I say thank you for your support. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. See you soon. Peace.